So I'm getting ready to get up. So I was thinking about swim teams and what I think and what I know is that they'll do better in school. They'll be happier kids. And when they're happier and they have that exercise and the confidence of knowing how to swim, you know, then they're part of the community. I can imagine that if you didn't learn to swim because you're poor, you might have maybe anger, some passive aggressive. I said, why didn't I get to learn to swim? I met a black couple yesterday at the river and they said both their sons are lifeguards in Richmond. And I said, that's great. I said, but I meet too many kids and adults that don't know how to swim. Uh, scuba diving, you know, a platform dive. When you build the pool, you gotta make it really deep. So in the future, if we want a platform dive, we can do that. That's getting really popular. And you think about tourism and pulling people into the city of Petersburg and even Richmond. And if they're in Richmond, they'll come up to our water park to check this out. Um, you know, team sports are great. And I think, okay, the white team from RVA competes with the black team, the porpoises from Petersburg. What a freaking meet. You know, I mean, it's like a black team against a white team. And it's just perfect to have fun that way, you know, with the racial undertones. But have them compete, but have fun. You know, that, what's wrong with that? They, That would be great. Would, you, you know, Gill Pen is only a mile and a half from the governor's mansion. So they're kind of in the same neighborhood. So we got to help and love each other. They're your neighbors. I did meet quite a few people that didn't get to go to art school. So I've suggested a a charity to, to help the poor kids go to art school through the movie stars and things like that. And um, they can kayak. I mean, they get, when they if they do a trade job, they can make a lot of money and buy a beach house or buy a lake house or get jet skis. Uh, it's just, just your world opens up so much if you know how to say Water, our bodies, how much are 98% water? Water is ev water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Water, water everywhere, how the boards did shrink. The rhyme of the ancient mariner. So you get on a boat and you're afraid to fall in. It's a necessary thing. I'm, I think it's time. And I believe 98% of the American Swimming Association at this point is Caucasian. So I would like the percentage, I think was African Americans 30% of our, we should have at least 30% of the American Swimming Association African American. And with all the hard work they've done in this country and good work they continue to do and some struggle that when we offer these families the swim team, and of course the parents participate, caregivers, they they time the kids and, you know, at the level of community, they, you know, parents write out the ribbons, they help organize the kids. So it's a whole family thing. And it's cool in the summer, you're not so hot and sweaty, you're jumping in the pools. And I've never met a child that played in a pool that didn't just love it and their fingers, you know, get all waterlogged and we would always look at that because our fingers would always get you know creases in them so I do think the jail population would go down to mm, by a good 20 30 percent just offering swim teams in the inner cities thank you